A couple of weeks ago, I broke a story about Nikki Ashton in which I detailed a personal trip she took to Quebec City with her husband and children. She billed taxpayers $18,000 for that personal trip. She later went on to claim that the reason for the trip was to meet with quote-unquote stakeholders in Quebec City for matters relating to language and culture, and yet she refuses to divulge the identity of these so-called stakeholders. I mean, once again, she was meeting with them to discuss matters relating to language and culture. This is not matters of national security. So why is she being so secretive about who she met with there? Shortly after I published that video, and I will publish a link to it in the show notes, taxpayers took to social media to completely chastise her for her behavior and demand that she either resign, repay the money, or both. Well, we're at least getting a small fraction of that money back, $2,900 of it to be precise. Beyond that, Nikki is claiming she owes no other money that the rest really was for government business, despite the fact that en route to Quebec City, they stopped in Ottawa for what she claimed to be dealing with a bed bug problem in the building or apartment that she lives in. I'm not quite sure about that statement because she does use both of those words, building and the apartment. So this leads us to speculate. Does she own that building? Because if she does, the bed bug problem is her and her husband's problem, not the taxpayer's problem. Why would we pay for her to fly out to Ottawa to deal with her private property? Now, let's say she really is just renting it for the time that she spends in Ottawa, which is very minimal, let me tell you right now. If she is the renter, Ottawa has protocols in place for its MPs. Why is it that no one on the ground in Ottawa could take care of the bed bug problem for her on her behalf. Why is it that she had to fly all the way from Manitoba to attend to this issue and also bring her husband? How can one adult not deal with a bed bug problem on their own? I don't get it. And why is it that the House of Commons agreed to pay the bill for her husband's flight to deal with the bed bug problem? Now here's a factoid you really need to hear. Nikki's writing of Churchill, are you ready for this? Her writing of Churchill has the highest level of child poverty, not just in Manitoba, but in all of Canada. Do you know what the rate of child poverty is in her writing? 64%. 64% of the children living in her writing are living in poverty. And this woman, who is supposed to be part of Canada's Socialist Party, the NDP, a party that is supposed to be all about fighting poverty, is using taxpayer money to take personal trips at a time when her writing has the highest level of child poverty and she is dinging taxpayers for $18,000 for a pleasure trip. At what point are we finally going to feel outrage over this? At what point are we going to be so furious about what they're doing that we will not stop until they get fired or they resign? But this is unacceptable. It also needs to be known that Nikki, despite being the member of Canada's third ranking party, ranks number six out of all the MPs. And of those MPs, I'm also including the four party leaders. She ranks as the sixth highest spender on travel out of all the MPs in the house. And she's in the same group as the party leaders. It doesn't make sense to me. It also needs to be said that out of all the parties, the NDP has the highest per member spend on travel expenses at roughly $60,000 each. That 60 grand happens to be $16,000 more than the average of all other MPs. That's insane. So you tell me, is Nikki getting served too hard for what she did or not quite hard enough? Why is it that her party, the NDP, the party that is supposed to be fighting against poverty, is creating so much more of it and ignoring it? Sound off in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing.